and I want to get Jay's thoughts uh, as well as as Watts' thoughts on this game as well. Uh, I like the Kings here versus the Suns. I like the matchup in terms of Sabonis and Fox and the speed. I like how the Kings defense plays better on the road. Um, I think the Suns hit kind of like they were on the upswing. And I feel like that Warriors game is a good emblematic of like, hey, they may have like crested a little bit. And even if it's just like a small dip, they might be in due, due for a small dip here. Uh, I make this only Suns minus two. So which isn't necessarily surprising. I, I probably need to downgrade the Kings a little bit, even though I'm pretty skeptical of them. Uh, I lean towards Sacramento here. Suns on two days rest. Kings on one day's rest. Should be a good matchup, but uh, I really lean towards the Kings here, Jay. What do you think about this one? This is a tough game for me. Um, I don't I don't necessarily think the Suns are going to crater, in my opinion. I think they're, the way they start the season, they're only going to continue to move up. I mean, this is a top three team in the Western Conference. No matter what uh, people don't really think so, I think that they're going to finish in the top four for sure and have home court advantage. But uh, the Kings, this is their game. Remember, they were I, had, I was on the Suns last time, and they were laying around the same number, and the uh, Kings were up like 20 with like eight minutes to go, and they lost their game. So I'm, so, I'm sure the Kings are going to be pissed. They do. You're right. They do have the speed matchup with Fox and Sabonis so they have some matchup advantages here but um, I just don't I don't think the Kings are that good I really don't I think that this team is nowhere near as good as they were last year teams are on to them now they're not surprising anyone and the Kings another team call me crazy wouldn't be surprised if they missed the playoffs so but it is a good matchup for Matt but uh, I don't think that the Suns are going to crater down that's just my opinion Watts what do you think um well, you mentioned the defense being better for the Kings. I do think this is a potential spot for the Kings, just having been so embarrassed in the last game. But I wonder if maybe the look is the under, if if the un because I you know do you see the Kings? I guess they could out variance the Suns in an over game and just shoot a ton of threes since the Suns don't really do that. But I wonder if maybe the under is a more of a look just because. Um, I, I see that going the King's way more than I do, you know, this number, I would want it a little bit longer for the Kings. I think the, the number is high. It's two forty three, So I might play yeah. the under there. I think I might play happy now on both to be quite honest with you in part, because, uh, I do have a trend here. So the Suns this season, when they face a team that is over 500, uh, they are, Wow. Uh, they are 6, 13, and 1. So opponents against them are 60. If you're over 500 and you face the Suns, 68% ATS. Um, they've been good. Oh. And that's even, that's, and three of the last four even in that spot. So one of the reasons that the Suns kind of turned around is their schedule eased up. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm, I like the underplay there too, based off of that Kings under trend, right? Of uh, the defense being better on the road that I always talk about. So, yeah, I'm going to play the under and the Kings. I might do a same game on this, too. Let's throw in the same game parlay. Last days before All-Star break, let's, let's get wild. It'll be great.